Many people believe that only markets and not governments fail, and that because of this, government is the cure for markets failure. But it may be that the cure is worse than the disease. When people worry about markets, they worry about monopolies. They usually think along these lines. Unregulated markets will lead to collusion, which will in turn lead to monopolies and competition will disappear. Most people just assume that government protects consumers and other businesses from monopolies. What they might not realize is that governments have a tendency to pass laws that produce benefits for some industries and companies at the expense of others. These create barriers to entry in the form of subsidies and excessive licensing requirements, among others, so that the existing businesses are protected from competition from emerging businesses. So the laws designed to cure a problem create more of that very problem. No one understands this more clearly than Professor Bruce Yandel, who explains why people continue to see government as the cure for market failure. When he thought about prohibition, he saw two groups, the bootleggers and Baptists, who were inexplicably working together. It's inexplicable though, only until you realize that both groups have the same goal, albeit for entirely different reasons. The Baptists fought against legalizing alcohol on moral grounds. The bootleggers who produced and sold alcohol rallied behind the moral cover of the Baptists because prohibition meant they could keep prices high on the black market. And here's the interesting bit. There's almost always a bootlegger and Baptist story behind every policy designed to quote, fix the market. Subsidies are granted to green energy suppliers under the moral cover of cleaning up the environment. Licensing requirements are designed to protect people already in business from those who might want to enter that same business. Environmentalists and consumer protection advocates preach from the moral pulpit and established energy producers and trade organizations are able, along with politicians, to write the rules of the game. Who benefits? They do. And other people are not even allowed into the market as a result. This is not to say that markets are perfect. They certainly are not. But this prescription of more government rules usually leads to a host of undesirable side effects. The real question here is whether markets or governments are more likely to correct failures quickly and efficiently.